now you have seen order of elementary reaction that is the uh, whatever i have given examples for zero first second third order reaction all are elementary reaction and you have seen their order and the rate law how rate will increases and all those things see now order of complex reaction complex reaction is multi step reaction how to find order of this multi step reaction or complex reaction order is applicable to complex reaction let's see how through an example you know that 2h2o2 in alkaline medium gives you 2h2o and o2 and uh, you know that this is complex reaction it will take place in two step steps in step 1 one molecule of h2o2 will combine with one molecule of i minus ion to give you one molecule of h2o and uh, one molecule of intermediate compound see this is intermediate compound the in second step this intermediate one molecule of this intermediate compound will combine with the uh, again one more molecule of h2o2 to give you h2o2 plus i minus and o2 see in this first step is slowest step this uh, reacts this step takes some time because in this step intermediate compound that is i minus ion is forming to form this intermediate compound reaction will take some time so it is slowest step in in every complex reaction usually the step in which intermediate compound is forming will be slowest step now in complex reaction a rate will applicable to slowest step see i have written rate law for this step that is rate equal to k into concentration of the reactant h2o2 into concentration of reactant i minus i r so order of this rate law is 2 this uh, rate law and order what you have obtained from the slowest step of the complex reaction is applicable to whole complex reaction so only slowest step of the complex reaction is called rate determining step slowest step of the complex reaction is called rate determining step because rate is applicable to slowest step of the complex reaction and from that rate law you are you, you can find order of the reaction why rate is applicable to slowest step take an example in relay there will be four members one member uh, this side uh, on one side there will be two members and uh, on other side there will be two more members what in relay this person has a uh, some stick uh, he will run and give to him and he will again run and give to him and he will uh, then this person will again run and give to him and this he will uh, run and uh, finally reach the this destination this is relay game in this game probability of winning of the game will depends upon the person who runs slow the person who runs slow runs very slowly he will de definitely they will lose the match if he run little bit fast then they will win what is uh, what i am trying to tell is uh, suppose this person is uh, suppose uh, this last person is uh, running very slow But all these uh, members are runs uh, fast only they will run fast and give to him finally to him uh whole match uh, now depends upon this person only if he runs uh, little bit fast they will go win 
uh, if he can't run then they can't win the match so only in uh, multi step reaction rate will depends upon the slowest step if the slowest step rate is high rate will be high if the slowest step rate is slow rate will uh, rate of the whole complex reaction will be slow that's why for complex reaction slowest step is the rate determining step okay thank you